We're going to start by putting our name in the back of that great big white piece of paper. We're going to flip it over and we're going to use our paper, the tall wave vertical today. The first thing we're going to draw is a giant letter U for our lion's head. When I put my hand inside there, it's bigger than my hand. It definitely needs to be bigger than your hand. From there, we're going to curve a rainbow line in on both sides for the ears of our lion. We're going to connect those two lines together. Inside our lion's ear, we're going to make two rainbow lines, one in each ear, and we're going to connect those at the bottom too. Towards the bottom of that U, down here, I'm going to make a triangle shape that has a line at the top that's straight. And I'm going to go down and up like the letter V. I'm going to make a connector line from the bottom of that triangle to touch the bottom of my U. I'm going to connect the dot or the side of my triangle, the point of my triangle, with a curved line going down and a curved line going down on the other side. I'm going to add two more curved lines. This time it's going to start at the point of my triangle and come up between the ears. Watch how just a little curve, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, a little curve, and these are both still separated. Now I'm ready for my lion's eyes. I'm going to make a curve line on this side and a curve line to match it on the other side. That's the top of my lion's eyes. I'm going to make a curved line that looks like a smiley face to make the bottom. Smiley face to make the bottom. Inside my lion's eyes, I'm going to add a big circle. That circle touches the, the curved lines. And a big circle in the other eye. And then I'm going to add that dot in the middle of the pupil. There's the lion's head. I'm going to scooch my paper so you can see it to make the lion's body. I'm going to try to make the lion's body come almost to the bottom of my paper. To start, I'm going to make a line that slightly curves this way and comes down. And another line on the bottom of that giant U that curves this way. I'm going to start with my lion's front feet. They're going to come in. Oh, that almost looks like the letter F. And the other side's going to come in the other way. There's still a space between them. And I'm going to draw what looks like part of a square. It comes up and over and down to separate the two feet. We're going to add a little bit of the paws. There's two little curved lines at the bottom. To make our lion look real, we're going to see kind of the back legs, too. Between the legs, I'm going to see part of a foot. And I'm going to put just one line back there to show his toes. The other one's behind that leg. We can't see the whole part yet. And then on this side, to really make our lion look real, we're going to add a third or fourth foot that kind of comes down and in. See, just part of that back leg. And if you have room, you could add a little bit of the paw shape, too. The last thing we're going to draw with our pencil is a tail. I'm going to start up by my lion's head. And I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves like the letter S back to my lion. And I'm going to put a matching line next to it. I'm not going to put it really close together. I'm going to kind of move it down so that it's about as wide as my finger. I'm going to make a line that follows that S shape. So my tail has a width is thick. At the very end of your lion's tail, we're going to add kind of a rounded shape 
Or if you want to add a diamond or a teardrop shape, you could do that for the back of the tail. That is our awesome lion. With a messy mat under your project, we're going to outline it with a really thick marker. Every single pencil line is going to have a nice thick outline. 